I am Vajravika Freiberger. I am the former president of Latvia. And uh, starting with 2014, uh, I will be the president of the Club de Madrid, uh, which is uh, a club of former presidents and prime ministers of countries uh, which have at some point in their history, recent or not so recent, made a transition to democracy. It is very difficult to combat uh, fanaticism once it has been kindled. Uh, prevention there, I'm afraid, uh, is the best cure. Uh, once fanaticism has flared up, uh, it's really very difficult to contain without uh, counter-violence to contain it. Uh, the, uh, it is very disappointing to see, for instance, in Muslim countries, the, I think the Prophet would have been truly, truly uh, saddened by this uh, to see uh, that uh, Muslims are killing each other uh, for what seem to be uh, interpretations of the Quran uh, that, after all, uh, might have been best left to the conscience uh, of each of the faithful. Uh, we had these wars of religion in Europe uh, a few centuries ago. Uh, they are always devastating and they take a long time to settle. Uh, it, uh, it took the Age of Enlightenment and uh, a sufficient critical mass of educated people uh, who uh, advocated a sense of humanity uh, that transcends uh, religious conviction, leaving religious conviction to everybody's conscience and uh, putting in its place civic virtues. Of course, the French Revolution uh, went wrong with the terror, uh, but the original idea uh, was right, and the French subsequent republics have maintained it, the idea that uh, citizens uh, are protected by the state and, and they maintain the state, uh, but uh, questions of conscience uh, should be left to each individual freely uh, to follow whatever religion uh, or denomination or, or sect uh, that they actually wish to support, uh, but uh, without interfering with the conscience of others. Uh, we leave it to a higher power uh, to decide who goes to heaven and who goes to hell. It's not up to humans to decide that. The society within which they live has to find some ways of containing their influence. Uh, every society has also criminals, antisocial elements. We try to socialize them, we have schools, we have families, we have religious institutions who try to instill ethics and socially uh, responsible behavior. There are always deviants uh, who will not follow it. Uh, with these uh, fanatical movements, it goes beyond that. Uh, it's the leaders of these movements who really are quite responsible responsible and I think that with the modern media uh, one of the possibilities is to really try and marshal a counterforce uh, of people who are for moderation. We saw it with the mothers in Northern Ireland. They had decades of a bloody war and a conflict and actually the mothers went out into the street, the mothers from the sons killed on both sides and said enough is enough, we do not want to see this anymore. Uh, hopefully it will remain a model uh, of stability and also of tolerance. I think uh, many Europeans were a bit worried about recent events in Turkey, uh, which seemed to be, um, well, possibly a step back from what Kamal Atatürk had, uh, had put forth uh, after the collapse of the Ottoman Empire um, as the basis uh, of, of the Turkish ethos. Uh, I think uh, Kamal Atatürk uh, was uh, on the right path. Uh, and I think it would be sad if uh, Turkey took steps backwards from that. Absolutely, we cannot have these sort of centers of instability and hatred. We have to try uh, and sort of put out these fires of hatred. Thank you very much.